Health and HIV Institute has been hard at work developing new interventions. Initial results from clinical trials have proven to be effective among women in sub-Saharan Africa. Reporter Masa Khuratlaka has been monitoring a briefing by the Institute earlier. It's an important development, and let's look at some of the uh, key takeaways. So what exactly does this mean, Maseko? Good afternoon to you. And why only women? Well, Jeremy, uh, this basically means that uh, instead of taking the PrEP medication, for instance, that one pill a day that you have to pop uh, in order to prevent yourself from contracting HIV, this time with this drug you're able to get uh, one injection that will last eight weeks. So for eight weeks you won't have to uh, pop a pill, that's two months, and then you have to go back to the doctor again to get your injection. Uh, now. The difference here is not really much. This one is called HPTN084. There was a male one that was released. Uh, the, the results of that trial were released earlier this year in May, which showed the same results, that this would be uh, the same for men, uh, um, either sleeping with women or sleeping with men. They'd be able to actually get um, uh, the HPTN083, which is the same, uh, one injection for eight weeks. So that's really the difference here, Jeremy. But here is uh, one of the leading research at this university in this project uh, speaking to us about what it means and how long we need to wait to eventually have it in stock. So we're not looking at something that's going to be available immediately, um, but clearly this is going to be fast-tracked both from the clinical research point of view and the manufacturing side uh, because uh, the, you know, access to this for a country like ours, with such high numbers of infected young women and new infections every year, it, it, it could be a game changer. So is it a game changer? I'm assuming, Maseko, there will be a positive response from civil society. Very positive response from civil society, Jeremy. We've spoken to the Treatment Action Campaign. You remember them. They are the ones who fought uh, the, the um, government during the time that uh, former President Tabumbeki was at the helm with Mandu uh, Chabalalam Simang as his health minister. Uh, they were fighting for free uh, access to uh, antiretrovirals. So their concern with this uh, particular drug is not necessarily that it's not a positive development. They agree that it is, but they're concerned about availability accessibility and of course affordability. Uh, they want it to be able to be affordable for government to be able to give it to um, uh, uh, clinics and hospitals in the public sector so that it can be uh, distributed to everyone and not just the rich. But here is the chairperson of the Treatment Action Campaign. Medication needs to be accessible to everyone and also affordability so that the government can be able to buy in order to provide uh, uh, medication. Even this vaccine, when it comes, we expect it to be available for, the, for it to be cheaper, for it to be accessible. But if it's not in, available in public uh, uh, clinics, then it, 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 it's as good as not having it. Treatment Action Campaign and the report by Masekho Atlacha.